Yeah. Product testimony disclaimer. We're not here to diagnose any medical problems. However, this site is for informational and educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical advice or consultation with a healthcare provider. All right. So now we're getting ready to do our company motto. All right, Uncle Mike, take it away. All right, thank you very much, Salesmaster Sharon Wilson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to demonstrate how we do our company motto. So if you want to um, just follow along, I will say company motto. Are you ready? You raise your fist and say yes. I'll say go. We'll go cherish the spirit, create the vision, follow the faith, serve in humility. Aja, aja, aja. Okay. All right. Make sure you're unmuted. Everybody get unmuted. Everybody unmute. All right. Here we go. Company motto. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Go. All right. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, everyone. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, we got to acknowledge our leaders that are on the call. We're so grateful for you all being here as a support for us. Amon and Ari, could you go ahead and give us your 30-second commercial? <laughs> good evening. Good evening, everyone. This is Mon Akabong, Sharon Ross Master from NC Global. Uh, great. It's going to be a great presentation tonight. Uh, the lineup is amazing. I know Dr. Young and Dr. Uh, Camille. Camille. Uh, Camille. They, they, they've been on before, and they just blew things up. So, Take notes, get ready. Oh, yeah. I share it back to you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Miss uh, Patricia Hornsby, North Carolina. Good evening, everyone. My name is Patricia Hornsby. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, by NC, from NC Global. And I'm a sales master. And I'd like to welcome you to our wonderful, super fantastic Adobe Call. And you will be on a good ride for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, because you are on a wonderful, wonderful call. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Miss Sue Wren, sales master, come on and greet us here. Thank you so much for the invitation. I am so looking forward to this presentation, and I'm, I'm just really thankful to get this kind of information. You know, I like the medical part of it and it's just a wonderful experience to be able to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank you, thank you. Do we have any more leaders that are on the call? I do not want to uh, miss anyone. Money Sam, go ahead and greet us, sir. Oh, I'm just a guest. Hi, this is Money Sam, I'm a sales master. Got into this business a few months ago, and I'm loving this business. And I'll tell you what, you guys are in good hands. Sharon is my sister. <laughs> Uncle Mike and the leaders I've met, I'm going to tell you, you're not, you can't have a better crowd of people to be hanging out with. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Money Sam. All right. I think that's it, but we appreciate everyone that is on the call today. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mon. He have a couple of testimonials from his team members, so he's going to introduce them, and they're going to give us a couple of minutes of their testimony. Go ahead, take what? it away, No, no. I, I do have one. I do have one. The other one can't make it on because uh, they have dinner time right now, but I have our amazing uh, business partner from Kings Mountain, North Carolina, Mr. Keith Jordan. He, he has a great testimony for us. So, Mr. Jordan, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Loud and clear. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, my, my testimony is about some hemorrhoids. Uh, like uh, on Saturday, my shoulder started hurting. Oh, now, through there like that, you know, hurting real bad. And um, I had some pills, but I didn't want to take them, you know. So I said, I'm going to try the hemorrhoid. See what it does. So I took two of them. And uh, I could tell the difference about two hours later, you know. So I said, I'll wait a little longer and take another one. So I just went ahead and took two more. And uh, they got around 
seven, eight o'clock at night then, and the pain was really going away, right? And uh, before I went to bed, I took one more. Got up the next morning, I couldn't even raise my arm. This one right here, I couldn't even raise it. Got up the next morning, I was doing this. So, you know, I've been taking it every day since I, I was uh, Thursday night. It was hurting Thursday night. Murray got me some him on him. I didn't have it. I, I was taking it before, but I had ran out. And uh, I'm thinking that's why I got to hurt again because I ran out of my hand. So and it, it just seems like it's better. It's good now. I'm out of information going on. So right on for the him That's my testimony. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Jordan. Thank you. You're all right, thank you so much for that, that testimony. I'm gonna ask uh, Miss Hightower. I know she says, what? But yeah, I like that expression. <laughs> if you could unmute and just give us a quick testimony of, of the products. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I use the Himohim too, but right now I've been using for the, the testimony that I can give you is the, uh, the hair products, uh, I have, my hair is natural. And so it's very hard for me to use certain products on my hair or things that might break me out. And so uh, I, I've been using the hair essence and it's been really good for me. And um, so I'm, I'm sort of pushing my hair products right now. Awesome. That's awesome. what I'm using. That's great. I use yeah. other things, but I know that works for me and with my family, it's all about the hair. So okay. I'm, I'm going to meet them where they are. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Ms. Hightower. That was powerful. Yeah, these products work. Uh, you know, I know we concentrate a lot on, you know, um, the, the hemohem, the vitamin C, all that is really good. But we have more than just that. I mean, we have so much more that, you know, and I love, I love our dishwater detergent because you can wash your fruits and vegetables with it. You know, that's amazing right there and it gets all the impurities out of it. So we have more products than just um, the vitamin C guys. So just the color food vitamin C, sorry about that. Mic. Yeah, we have more than, you know, just those type products, but we have it all across the board. So, oh, okay. So one more quick testimony, then we're gonna turn it over to Uncle Mike to introduce our guest tonight. So do anyone wanna share? Okay, Chris, go ahead, sir. I see. Uh, you have your hand waved. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Uh, good evening, everybody. I have to explain about this body lotion, Adamy body lotion. I've been having some problems with itching, and I think I don't know if it was eczema or what, but I know it's dry skin. My arms are itching, and I'm worried about that. So I got to thinking, what is going on? So I put some Aiden cleanser on my arms, just like I would do a lotion. And after that dried and I waited for a little while, I started using, like I'm supposed to, the Atomy body lotion. And believe me, that's the problem. It's getting cold. And this is when it started, when the weather started changing. My skin is dry naturally anyway, but our Atomy body lotion is taking control and it's doing a whole lot better. I'm not sitting here scratching. Uh, and it's not eczema because I don't see any rash or anything. I was just itching because I was dry skin and ashy. I'm, I'm very ashy. Um, <laughs> my mom <laughs> used to say, son, you just rusty. Because every lotion that I would use, it would soak it up like a sponge. But this Atomy body lotion, this stuff works. So that's my testimony. Use our Atomy body lotion. Back awesome. to you, Chair. Thank you so much, Chris. Awesome, awesome. Well, Uncle Mike, I know we have a lot more testimonies, guys, and we're going to get around to you all, but we want to hear these young ladies. So I'm going to ask Uncle Mike if he would just take the mic. Okay, thank you. Master. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I'm not sure which one of these ladies are going to go first. I think the, uh, Dr. Cheryl Young is. Uh, Dr. Cheryl Young and I, we met each other in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, she competes professionally, uh, the bodybuilding and the, uh, the bikini, you know, showing, you know, the, 
you know, the muscles and, and how good the body is. She does that very well. And uh, I, I've seen her in action and, and have pictures. She's also um, a lieutenant colonel uh, in the Army. So uh, she's very active, very busy lady. So um, um, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, introduce her and present her to others. And she can add a little bit more on to what she, you know, some of her other actimates so that, um, you know, you'll know a little bit more about her. But so without any further, uh, any uh, delay, let's give a warm welcome to Dr. Cheryl Young. <laughs> oh, so good evening. How are you? And so, um, and so I'm going to flip it a little bit because basically we're going to hear Camille first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. uh, doc, uh, Dr. Cheryl Young, since you and Camille are so close, why don't you introduce her? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, guys, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's a lot, but uh uh, Camille is um, Dr. Sample. Of course, I know her, Camille. And so basically, uh, Camille is a board certified OBGYN. Uh, she actually does all her work in Patterson, not Patterson, that's where, that's where I was born, but um, in um, New Jersey. And of course, uh, basically, she's been doing this for I guess about 20 years I have as well. Uh, she does a lot. She's board certified in, uh, in, in um, uh, you would have me to introduce her. <laughs> <laughs> integrative medicine. Yeah, integrated, in, integrated medicine. Mm -hmm. And uh, also she does, she's also boarded with uh, a, a status as well. And so, uh, if you are interested in normal, uh, natural um, trauma replacement therapy, she does that. Uh, also, she uh, treats men. So she does uh, men health as well, which, you know, includes uh, a lot of different things that men may have issues with. Um, and she's also into fitness as well. And uh, she's doing a great job <laughs> with that. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, and then she's a vegan. She has, uh, she is married. She has two kids, and um, and she likes to have fun. And she travels as well. So uh, and she's uh, with Adamy because of me. Yay! <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Young. Thank you so much. And I'm into fitness because of Dr. Young. I do hormone <laughs> therapy because of Dr. Young. And there's so much that I do because of Dr. Young. But it's very true. Thank you all so much for having me and thank you for inviting me, Mike. And um, to all of the leaders, thank you so much. And um, to all of the guests, welcome. And um, yes, Dr. Young was the first one to introduce me to Atomy. And, um, you know, of course, being board certified in aesthetic medicine, I first gravitated towards the skincare. And um, that's, that is my love in terms of what Atomy has. But that's not to say that I don't use a lot of their other products. So um, my purpose today, though, is mainly to talk about skincare. And um, before we get into the products, I just want to start off by saying that great skin starts from within. Okay, so there's no way that you're going to take even a line as wonderful as Atomy's line and just apply it topically without taking care of other things that are important, like your nutrition, regular exercise, stress management, making sure that certain vitamin minerals are optimized in your system, sleep, water, and sun protection. And of all the things that I listed, they claim that the number one cause of premature skin aging is sun exposure. So, and that's something that usually um, we overexpose ourselves in our teenage and 20s, not thinking because, you know, we're invincible in those years. And then that damage doesn't show up until our 40s and 50s. And now we're looking at reversing, you know, sun damage. So the majority of people who come in to see me, they come in because they want what they see now reversed like yesterday. And even though I do um, aesthetic procedures, 
no matter what I do for you, I could Botox you, I could put fillers in you, I could do a lot of different things. If the integrity of your skin is not good, no matter what I do, you, it, it just won't have the same effect. And again, putting things on is not the only way to do it, maximizing what you do from within. So I just want to talk briefly about a couple of Atomy products in their nutrition line, which is very helpful for um, premature skin aging, because that's what we're talking about, preventing the skin from prematurely aging with fine lines and wrinkles, loss of volume, um, uneven skin tone. And, you know, those are the main issues that people come in with. Of course, um, acne and those kinds of things also. So um, if you're iron deficient, you know, a lot of people are gonna have the darkness under their eyes and I don't care how much fading cream you throw at it, it will be dark. Between sleeping and being iron deficient, um, those are the two major reasons people have the dark circles around the eyes. So Atomy has a great iron. Unfortunately, I can't take it because I'm vegan and it does have dairy but I wish it didn't have dairy, but um, it is a great iron supplement because it doesn't upset the stomach as many iron supplements do. Their vitamin C, as we know, vitamin C is great for the skin. It helps with the collagen and elastin. Vitamin D is a preventive hormone. It's actually not a vitamin, it's a hormone. And it's essential for practically preventing everything that they have studied in conjunction with a low vitamin D, adequate vitamin D is preventive. Okay, we're talking about um, major health issues also. And then my latest <laughs> love is spirulina. Spirulina, you guys say, but I say spirulina. Because spirulina has 18 amino acids, 15 fatty acids, 13 minerals, 12 vitamins, and five antioxidants, all in those two little capsules that you take once a day. And all of that is very beneficial for the integrity of the skin. Of course, there's hemohim too much to talk about hemohim and the skin. And the, your gut health is also linked to the integrity of your skin. So probiotics and digestive enzymes are very important. So once you have all of that intact, nutrition, exercise, stress management, vitamins, minerals, sleep, water, sun protection, and all of that, now I wanna talk about skincare, okay? What you put on the skin. So when it comes to the Atomy lines, um, I've not found anything to cleanse the skin as wonderful as the evening four. Um, the evening four is not just cleansing. The evening four is skincare. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the, it's the, um, the deep cleanser. Whoa, uh, okay. My, my light is too bright. It doesn't matter. Um, there's a deep cleanser, which will clear away impurities and makeup. So if you're wearing like eye makeup and mascara and things like that, the deep cleanser will be the first thing that you put on just to emulsify that away without, you know, having to scrub the skin too harshly. I usually follow that with a foam cleanser. You don't have to. You could use the deep cleanser and wipe it off and just go because it leaves the skin very moist and nourish. But I like to use the foam cleanser after that just to really get rid of all of the impurities. So that I, you can use morning and night. That's what I advocate for my patients, to use that morning and night. Two to three times a week, the peeling gel, which is something that you put on, you leave it on for a minute or two, and then I love it because once you start rubbing it and you see that dead skin coming off, it's like, oh, that's so great, it's so gross, but it's so wonderful at the same time. But um, that you'll use two to three times a week. If you try using it every day, you will notice that, you know, the second day you use it, not much is going to come off because you've already exfoliated. The great thing about a gentle exfoliant is that it's going to allow the better absorption of whatever you put on after you exfoliate. Because, you know, we shed our skin periodically and um, there's usually a layer of skin. If you feel your skin, sometimes it's very dry, but once you use the peeling gel, it's very soft because that dead skin layer is off. After that, the peel off mask one to two times a week. Now the peel off mask is not, it's, it's amazing because it lifts, it tones, it brightens. Uh, and um, I mean, you see the difference immediately when you peel it off and the next day you're glowing. All right, so that's, that's, they're cleansing. I mean, that's four things. I know most people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, four things, but look, you want good skin, you have to do it, okay? So that's the, the line and you're not doing everything every day, okay? After that, 
the absolute or the fame. Okay, the fame is a smaller set, but the absolute has a lot more. Um, of that said, I have my patients start with the toner followed by the lotion. Very slowly, we incorporate the serums and the moisturizers and all of those other things, but it's a very strong skincare line. I'm not gonna say it's overly strong, but it is strong. And if you're not accustomed using, um, you know, quality skincare on your skin, it may be too much for you. So I have my patients slowly limp into the line. So um, they start with a toner and then they use the um, three second beauty water. Okay, that's not a part of the, um, uh, of the absolute skincare line, but it immediately hydrates them. After that, um, I advocate the gold collagen ampule. A lot of people use it as makeup. Dr. Howard and I use it as skincare. So we put that on the skin and then moisturize. And then if you're wearing makeup, makeup goes on top of that. Atomy has a new product called um, the Adelica Finishing powder. And when I first looked at it, I was like, blue and purple powder, what is that going to look like on me? I don't want to look ashy. And I, I said, okay, you know, they surprised me before with the collagen. So I tried it and I have it on today as a finishing powder. So clearly I'm not looking ashy. I think I'm still glowing. It is mattifying, but at the same time, it's not dulling. So um, it does kind of give you a photo finish so that it blurs the fine lines and wrinkles. And I really thought it would settle in the lines under the eyes and um, you know the nasolabial folds and such, but it doesn't. And I've been using it for about a week and I really, really like it. So I started um, advocating that for my patients also. So um, at the end, if you have any questions on the skincare, please ask. The only other thing that I would add is, um, uh, sunscreen, sunblock, which Atomy does have. Because again, number one cause of premature skin aging is sun exposure. So you should use uh, um, sunscreen or sunblock. Okay. And with that, thank you so much. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Howard now. Thank you. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Cheryl, Dr. Okay. Young. You're okay. Okay. Now you can. Okay. So thank you. All right, and so uh, I'm going to move on to uh, Noni. I kind of, you know, talked about Noni the last time I spoke, and I was around when Noni started in 19, I'm going to say 1990s, uh, but I started to sell Noni um, in 1997. And uh, it was kind of amazing because the, uh, as a young man who's who uh, basically talked about his testimony. I had a very similar family member that I sent on each other who had arthritis issues, bone issues, and that was the best thing that could have happened to him. And it was trying to get it to him because at that time I was living in, in New York and he was of course in Albany, Georgia. So, um, so Nona has been around for a long period of time. There has been a lot of research on money, and so um, here in the United States, uh, basically, um, what they found is that noni is really good for uh, killing cancer cells. And and so one of the key things is to uh, basically how that happens is called apoptosis, and and what happens with that is that this whole process. It shrinks, it shrinks the cells. And then once that when that happens, then it starts to eat up those bad cells. And I always tell people that, you know, in the process of, of eating up and killing bad cells, sometimes you may, you know, get a little bit of those that are normal. Okay, that can happen, but not uh, to the point where it creates a lot of problems. Um, <clears throat> And so, and so that was a bit major um, um, finding with this research because women who had cervical cancer, they found that um, just taking 
and drinking this, this juice uh, would help to kill the cells. And it did so much better than chemotherapy, which I was totally surprised about that. <laughs> and so um, now what I didn't find was exactly how much they were having to take um, to, to really um, basically decrease the, the growth of the, of the cancer because that's what we're looking for with the chemotherapy is that the growth of the, of the cancer cell is shrinking and it's going away. Uh, that part I wasn't able to find, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere. And, uh, and so with that, uh, this is what they were using, noni. And so noni is a fruit, it's 100%. Um, there are no types of preservatives that they use to maintain uh, this juice. Uh, basically it's fermented, meaning that it sits there for 14, what, 1440 hours. And, um, and that's, that's a long time. And it's just like, you know, anything else, if you ferment, it becomes somewhat of an alcohol, it has, you know, some form of alcohol, uh, but not to the point where you become drunk with it. Um, it has a lot, a lot of uh, nutritional pro project, uh, products um, that's, that it comes with. And then also, what happens is that um, it has seven types of minerals. Calcium, magnesium are some of the things that is there. Iron, so if someone has problems with uh, iron uh, deficiency, potassium defi uh, deficiency, uh, you can use that uh, to kind of help with those deficiencies. Uh, has 18 types of amino acids. And when we talk about amino acids, we're really talking about uh, protein. And so if you're someone that really are not getting enough proteins, uh, this is another way of helping uh, give those uh, proteins into the body, the muscles, and other parts of the body as well. Then it has 12 types of vitamins. And so with the vitamins, for those who are not, uh, are choosing not to, to uh, take vitamins, this is a great source of, uh, of a way of giving yourself vitamins because what we do know is that the foods that we eat, which was found got over, over 15, 20 years now, that the foods that we were actually taking in eating was not giving us the vitamins that we needed uh, so that we wouldn't have to take vitamins. So, so now, you know, vitamins are like a must because of the fact that we're not getting the nutrition that we need with the food. Um, and so noni is good for that. And so what people always ask is, okay, so how does it taste? Well, you know, I had noni before. <laughs> it's, and for me, I'm a little bit different. My taste buds are different. So everything for me tastes good, okay? And, <laughs> and so, um, and I think a lot has to do with nutrition and cleansing your body because that helps to detox your body so that your tongue where all your taste buds are, you're able to be able to really taste the foods. And if you're someone that can tell me all the different ingredients in your foods, and that tells me that, that your body and your taste tells, your, I'm sorry, your taste buds are where it needs to be as far as doing that. A lot of people can't do that. And, and a lot is because of the fact that um, you need to detox your system. Um, so um, as far as taking uh, this juice, you should do at least one to two uh, tablespoons of, of noni twice a day, and you really shouldn't, I guess you can go a little bit, you can do it, do more if you want to, but that's just a recommendation if nothing is going on as far as your health. Uh, if you feel like you need to do more, you can. And the fact that now we're going into the flu season, uh, COVID, 
uh, it's giving you a lot of your vitamins that you're going to need as well to kind of help maintain and, and help to maintain your immune system as well. And so this is a great um, uh, product that you really should be pushing and it's something that you really should be have at home in your refrigerator. So if you get sick, then you have something to kind of help with, with whatever the issue may be. So let me see here. And I'm not 100% sure um, But I'm just going to, I can't remember exactly what I was going to say, but also it is a plant-based. So if you're someone that is a vegan um, and then, you know, basically this is something that you can have. So I think that that's all that I want to talk about as far as uh, Noni. Uh, if there's any questions, we can talk more about that. Okay, thanks very much, uh, Dr. Cheryl Young. Let's give her a hand and also to Dr. Camille Simple. Um, outstanding, good information. So what we'll do now is um, I'll, um, I'll turn it back over to Sharon. And if you have a question, raise your hand, give us your name and uh, you can direct your question to either uh, Dr. Cheryl or Dr. Uh, uh, um, Camille. Okay, uh, Sharon. All right, thank you so much. Thank you once again, um, doctors. This is our Ask the Doctor portion of um, our Zoom tonight. So I know Money Sam had his hand up. So we're going to go with Money Sam. Did you have a question? Yeah, I did. Uh, I was going to ask uh, Dr. Camille. How you doing, Dr. Camille? Hi, good, thank you. Your skin, dude, your skin is glowing. Thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah, so I want to ask this. And a lot of times, because I know when I first got into it, a lot of times men are kind of lurry about taking things like this. So can you, for a man, let men know that it's also very healthy for men to take it and any words of wisdom you say for the skincare for men? Um, definitely. And, you know, it's interesting because in my practice, uh, thank you so much for your question, by the way. Um, in my practice, um, I take care of, as Dr. Young said, men and women. And a lot of times as a couple, the men <laughs> are so much more interested in their looks than the women are. It's interesting how things are sometimes. But um, <laughs> definitely men have skin like women have skin and men are for the most part, very concerned about how they look. So yes, you can use that evening four set. Um, yeah, the, you, men usually are not wearing makeup, but the deep, you, you are exposed to a lot of impurities, you know, the moment you walk outside the door and inside of the home. So the deep cleanser is very important. The foam cleanser is the best facial cleanser you will ever use. I mean, I've used quite a bit, but that one is the best. Um, you know, for men, they tend not to take as good care of their skin. So usually they have much more to exfoliate than we women do. And, you know, they kind of pause at the mask. They're like, I I'm not doing that. If I put the mask on them in the office, they're fine with it, but they're not putting a mask at home and walking around. But some men would, and actually it would be great to, you know, lift and brighten and tighten the skin. In terms of the skincare, um, there is a men's skincare line, isn't there? Yeah, yeah I wanted to ask yeah. something. Yeah. Can, yeah. I say, so, can I say something else real quick? I'm sorry. Because I noticed, I used to get skin bumps because a lot of time when men shave, they get skin bumps. I started using the deep cleanser and I stopped getting those um, bumps. That is important. But uh, the most important thing with getting the hair bumps, you know, the ingrown hairs is exfoliation. Okay. So ex because what's happening is that the, the hair is growing and it gets trapped under the skin because it can't poke through because the, the surface is too um, tough. So um, exfoliating on a regular basis is probably the number one way of preventing ingrown hairs and also treating them. So of course, with a deep cleanser, what you're doing is you're getting all of that sebum and such out of the pores so that there's not that inflammatory reaction that's going to happen and cause the hair to get trapped. So I would advocate that entire line for people who, um, 
uh, suffer with ingrown hairs. Yes, thank you. Dr. Cheryl. Um, You're muted. I... Okay, oops. You're muted, okay. Dr. Young. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought that I was muted. Okay, so I'm just gonna also uh, say that this is what I brought bought uh, my brothers for Christmas. And, um, <laughs> and so my oldest brother, who actually swears on this product. Now, I, I put him on a natural product before this one. And he was very much uh, reluctant about trying Adamy. And I told him, I said, just try it. You know, it's not going to hurt you. you know, if not, I can always correct whatever the issues may be. And this is what he uses. It's the, um, it's, it's a three um, um, treatment product. And so there's one that he uses when he's shaving, then one after he shaves, and then of course the shampoo or what have you. And so, um, and so he uses it, and then I do have another brother, and I've been trying to get him to come and get his Adamy pre uh, present. <laughs> But uh, I'm pretty sure that he's going to love it as well. But I can say that that product does does work. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sharon, I'd like to uh, share just a quick testimony as far as men using the product. I've been using Jergens lotion for over 50 years. I know y'all thought I was 35. I just looked 35, right? But anyway, when I first came in, I knew nothing about skin care. And so what I did is I tried the fame. And let me tell you something. I used, I put that fame on that day, went all day, went to bed that night, got up the next morning, looked at my skin. It looked so good. I didn't even want to wash my face. Okay. So I used the fame for like over a year. It lasts a long time. And then I started using the, um, uh, the absolute skin care and I also use the evening care for set. So, and then also the, the synergy. I use that also. So uh, as far as men, if you, you know, men, let me tell you something. Your women are just like you. You want your woman's skin to look good. Guess what? Your woman wants her man's skin to look good too. So men, take the time. You deserve it. Take care of that skin. Thank you very much. Back to you, Sharon. All right. Thank you so much. Are there any more questions for Dr. Camille and Dr. Cheryl Young? You just raise your hand. So while you're thinking of your questions, and I know you have some, Dr. Camille, what is, there was a um, title that she gave you that I wasn't sure. Do you offer alternative in your practice? Yeah. You yes, that, uh, integrative medicine. So yes, um, integrative medicine is, um, alternative medicine and conventional medicine, but I do more on the alternative medicine side at this point in my practice. Thank yes. you. That's great. Well. That's great. Thank All you. right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Lori and then we'll come back to Mama. Lori Lockler. Unmute. Hi. Um, thank you so much. That was a really good presentation from both of you. Um, I have a question. I have a friend of mine who actually has um, some problems with prostate. And you were mentioning, I think it was Dr. Cheryl, um, that you mentioned that with the noni, um, it was good for killing cancer cells. So would the noni actually be better to you for him to use than the hemohem? Or would both be something that would, would benefit for him? Hey, am I unmuted? Yes. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> okay, so, you know, I always say more is always better, but not better in that you're doing, like, if I tell you to do two tastes, just like this is what they're saying with the, uh, the known in one to two servings, 40 grams, 30 to 40 grams. But the hemahem, which I love, that's, I, I use that every day. And so it's not going to hurt. Um, um, the, <laughs> the hemahem does have its own benefits. And so it's not going to hurt to do both at all. Right. Yes. Well, and, if you're um, going to use just one product, which one would you recommend? 
hard to say. Um, now, you know what? That's, that's a very good question because for me, I would do both. Uh, I don't really see anyone, where well, they've done more research, let's just say here in the United States because that's where we are uh, with, the, with the Noni. But when you actually look at YouTube on the human ham, you know, there's, there's great testimonies. There are great information and documentation about what the human hair has also, what, they, what it does and has done for people as well. And so it's not, again, I would do both. I want to add something to uh, what Dr. Uh, Young just said. Uh, the words from the late Dr. Don Lawson. He said that anytime that you're dealing with a life-threatening emergency or health issue, he said you need to declare war on it. So when you declare war on something, you're giving it your best, okay? So, you know, when, when we look at things that deal with cancer, uh, the hemohem, okay? The hemohem, you can go on YouTube, put in hemohem and cancer, and you hear people give their testimonies. Mm -hmm. the, the pomegranate beauty, the elagic acid, uh, the poor tea extract, okay, that has the gallic acid. And then you, we're talking about the noni. Noni is known as the gift from God, and it does deal with cancer cells. So um, one thing, I'll, I, I, I tell people the same thing that Dr. Don Lawson said. If you're dealing with a life-threatening issue, then you need to declare war on it and give it your best. Thank you. Back to you, Sharon. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Deborah, uh, Deborah Hightower, unmute. I thought Mon was next. Yeah, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is Mon. I was muted. Go ahead, Mon. Sorry. You know what? Uh, just uh, let me uh, Hightower go first. Okay. Unmute. My question is for uh, Dr. Camille. Uh, she talked to, you talked about the uh, uneven skin tone. Yes. And uh, I'm sort of dealing with that in, uh, on, uh, on parts of my face. But I know I take, I have, I've been diagnosed with, and I, I do, I have IBSC. And so I'm, I'm taking medication for that. I'm also taking the probiotics. But I'm wondering, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't eat crazy, sort of eat healthy, but I still can't figure out why the, it's almost like a whole ring around my face and it's it's the different shade of it's noticeable to me really well so I'm not sure what I need to be doing just some uh, information as you yes can. yes so um has a dermatologist seen you as yet for that because one of the things that happens um it happens especially with African Americans and Asians is something called melasma the lighting here is not good enough that I could see whether that's what it is on you, but um, that is partly a hormonal issue. And uh, we may have to look into that. Um, also, you know, like I said, sun exposure is number one for the uneven skin tone. But even though you may not now overexpose yourself to the sun, remember this is something that's set in ages ago, you know, I'm sorry, you're not that old, I'm sorry. What I mean is in our 20s and 30s, for me, that's ages ago, okay? <laughs> so um, that's set in a while ago, but now we're dealing with the, the um, effects of it. So, um, you know, in my practice, one of the things that I would do if you came in is to see what this is. Now, again, when you said IBSC, irritable bowel syndrome, right? And I detest that diagnosis because it's a diagnosis that really doesn't tell you anything. It says your bowel is irritable, but why God didn't make it irritable, right? So what is irritating your bowel? And this is where the work has to come in. Is it, is it something that you're eating? Because if you're eating something to which you're sensitive or allergic or not digesting well, or you have um, the gut flora is not regular, all of that can cause inflammation. And you may not feel it in the gut, you may feel it as your hair falling out, joint aches and pains, uneven skin tone, and all these different things, you know? So um, just the fact that you have irritable bowel syndrome, you have some inflammatory response going on. 
And that needs to be figured out. Now, unfortunately in conventional medicine, and I am conventionally trained, right? But in conventional medicine, what we would say is it's irritable, let's throw this medicine and that medicine, that medicine, but that doesn't get to the source of the issue. So that's what has to, first of all, be looked at is what is the source of that inflammation and is, is that what is causing the skin issue? Okay, but also in our practice, what we do is we also, um, and Dr. Young's practice also, because she also does aesthetic, she's modest, she didn't say that, but she also has a thriving aesthetic practice, um, is that we, we know what to do to even the skin tone safely for different um, races of skin, because you can't throw the same thing on every skin, you know, to reverse that. But of course, we have to get to the source of it first. Um, so it could be melasma which is hormonal, like I said, it could be some type of inflammatory issue going on, which most likely is connected to the bowel. All right. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, Ma, you got the floor. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. first, I just want to uh, answer Lori's question about uh, men's prostate issue. Uh, Depends on, on how bad their uh, issue comes about. Most men don't want to go get a check until it's way too late. Uh, I do have a friend that uh, does have prostate issue, and I don't know how extensive it is, but um, I went and visited him, and I, I did notice that you know there was there was a diaper there in in, in the bathroom. So. Not saying anything to him, I just kind of talked to him and, and, and was telling him a story about how us men in, the, in certain age, we need salt palmetto. And uh, I told him the testimony of, of other men that said you, when they take anatomy salt palmetto, they do notice that you know they, when they go to the bathroom, uh, it doesn't hurt. Uh, they don't have any drips uh, or pee on themselves or they don't have, uh, uh, they don't have to wake up to use the bathroom every night. <laughs> so I suggest my friend, uh, the salt palmetto and the B complex, and it's been more than six months now, he's been taking the products. He did say he noticed a big difference. He doesn't wake up at night at all to pee. It, 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 it does not hurt. So that in itself uh, with the salt palmetto, it, it does help him, okay? Uh, second thing, I do want to talk about uh, the skincare, to, to answer most people and, and what men use, okay? I personally love all the skincare, okay? I do use the four set, okay? Let me try to use, uh, show you right now my favorite, okay? My favorite set is the Derma Sica. Derma Real Sica, okay? And I use this daily. Of course, I wash my face with, with the foam cleanser. Okay, let me go through there real quick. This four set right here. I personally use the, the, deep, uh, the deep cleanser most, most of the time at night and the foam cleanser, okay? I use it morning and night. I use it to shave. It makes a lot of foam. I don't have to use Anything else anymore besides this foam cleanser, and you know it's it's just amazing. So, man, you you do have to use, you do have to take care of yourself. Like Uncle Mike says, you know, our woman looks great. Why can't we look great also? I mean, think about it. Does our woman want us to look ugly and being around them being so beautiful? So we want to take care of ourselves so we can, you know, at least try to match, you know, look, look, look at that. Okay. All right, Sharon, back to you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Yeah, man, we want you to look great, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Are there any more questions before we wrap it up? We definitely wanna, thank. Yeah, I want to make an, another comment. Um, okay. When, mm -hmm. You know, when uh, Dr. Uh, Camille was talking about sometimes it's the things that we eat. And in the very beginning, you talked about the dishwashing liquid, okay? So that, um, I'm going to pull that up. So uh, people, you know, in case you didn't know, 
Atomy's dishwashing liquid is a class one dishwashing liquid. And what that means is that you're able to use this to clean or wash your fruits and vegetables. That's why a lot of people get sick. You, you have no, most people do not have no idea of the amount of toxins that's on our food and in our food. Okay. You take, for example, a perfect example is broccoli. Who likes broccoli? Most people like broccoli. When you go in the store and look at a broccoli, if I ask you what color is it, more than likely you're going to say green. But if you really look at it, it's not really green. It's rather a blue green. Okay. So if you took Atomy's dishwashing liquid in a bowl, put about a tablespoon of, or a teaspoon of it in a bowl, and then take take some broccoli, just cut it in half and just look at it first and then just put it in there for about 30 seconds. And when you bring it out, I'm going to tell you, you're going to see the most beautiful shade of green that you have ever seen. Okay. So I'm going to tell you one thing that happened uh, years ago. You know, they were told, listen, y'all are putting too many toxins on the food. So their scientists come up with this like glue type stuff to put on to protect it. That's why if you got some broccoli right now and you turn it, uh, you turn your water faucet on and you put that broccoli underneath it, it's going to roll off like it's waterproof. OK, those are the toxins that you have to deal with. So that's why people have so many health issues, so many skin issues because of those toxins. And here's another note. EWG.org, environmentalworkinggroup.org. They have a list called the Dirty Dozen. And the number one dirty dozen, which has the most toxins, are strawberries. So if you didn't grow those strawberries, because you know you ain't going to put nothing on them, I would not I would not buy them, okay? So be cautious of that, ewg.org. I'll put it in the chat. But I just wanted to add that little extra piece of information, because you know your uncle going to look after you. Back to you, Sharon. All right. Thank you so much for that. Now, listen, this is the place to get the info, guys. So definitely um, join us and we'll definitely get some people that know what they're talking about. And I am so honored that we have Dr. Cheryl Young. And they're not just doctors. They are Atonians. Okay? They're part of us. And so I would say that on this call, we have our own doctors <laughs> that we could ask questions and they won't send us a bill. Well, they might think about that later. Some okay. <laughs> we appreciate you all so much for that. Okay. Yeah, you're sure. getting you're getting great information. You're getting great information. Yes, sir. One um, I think it was Joe Hashard had put a question in the chat about mm -hmm. what the women need to take for UTI, urinary urinary tract infection. infection. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that product is going to be the woman's probiotic. Okay. Listen, document it. Over 30 years study, the two best strands in the world for women dealing with vaginal and urinary tract infection, okay? Mm -hmm. The best in the world, okay? When you go on your website, read that information. Ladies and gentlemen, that information, it, it is strong. If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to just give you a quick demo because we got a minute or two, okay? So when you go on your site, Underneath uh, health, you're going to see probiotics. You click on probiotics. It's going to bring up two. Okay. Now, even if a woman is taking the woman's probiotic, you still need the regular probiotics. This puts the good bacteria in your digestive system. The woman's probiotic is dealing with only two things, vaginal and urinary tract. Okay. And so when you take the time when you go down here, you can read all this information. And believe me, it's a lot of good information. It is real good. And to know that you're looking at the best two strands in the world for these two issues, vaginal health and, in, and intestinal health, I'm going to tell you, I am just so proud to be a part of this company. And here it is right here, scientifically documented two-strand solution for vaginal health, okay? Uh, Christian Hansen is a Danish company with years of experience in formulating quality products with superior stability. Urex is a result of over 35 years of Christian Hansen's research. 
studies and findings. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, lady, and we've had a, a few ladies to give um, testimonies on this, but this is some good stuff. I just wanted to share that. Back to you, Sharon. All right. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are there any more questions in the chat? Did we get them all, Uncle Mike? Uh, that's I, have, I have a question. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, hello, good evening. I am Mary Lukambatingen from Raleigh Center. My question is for Dr. Kamel. Uh, Dr. Kamel, uh, how about the soul palmito? Can we women can also take that? Because I understand that it's for men. Okay, so in my practice, yeah. that, that's a very good question. Um, in my practice, um, now the question is why would women want to take it, right? But um, for men, uh, what soul palmetto does for men and women, it prevents the, the um, conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is a very strong testosterone. It's five to 10 times stronger than your own testosterone, but it is natural in the body. But DHT can cause for men overstimulation on the, of the prostate that leads to benign prostatic hypertrophy. So when they take it, it um, prevents the growth of the prostate so that there's not the squeezing of the urethra and all of that um, urinary issues. So, and also it is, um, it can, DHT can also cause male pattern baldness in men and women, <laughs> but in women, DHT can uh, cause um, facial hair and it can cause oily skin and acne, okay? Oily skin, acne, facial hair, thinning the hair on the head. Now that's why we women care about it. We don't have a prostate to worry about. But in preventing um, testosterone from converting off to DHT, yes, women who are not in childbearing age, who do not have the risk of getting pregnant, okay? So if they're on birth control pills or something, yes, they can take um, salt palmetto, okay? So the combination that we usually give is salt palmetto, pygium, and nettle. All three of them prevent the conversion of testosterone to DHT, okay? All right. Thank you, Doctor. You're very welcome. All right, thank you so much. Good questions, guys. Good questions. Thank you once again, Dr. Camille, Dr. Cheryl, we appreciate you. And now we're gonna let you go. There's nothing else. Uh, Uncle Mike, who do we have next coming? Well, I know um, on November the 8th, we have Dr. Suzanne Dotson is coming back. Oh, wow. And so that's the only one that, that I have lined up now. And who knows, um, maybe back by popular demand, we'll see Dr. Cheryl and Dr. Camille back. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you once again. I, okay. And I'm sorry. I just want to clear up something. Going back to the probiotics. Now, was the question about your urinary tract infections or was it for GI health? It's for the, uh, the two main <laughs> things. It's going to be for, the, for vaginal and urinary tract. Okay, so I just want to include because I'm real big about water. And so, um, of course, you always, I'm very much into prevention. Um, however, the best thing ever is always water. And so I don't want someone to leave here saying, so if I just take this, I don't have to drink water because it's a lot of people who do not like drinking water. And therefore, <laughs> um, I don't want you to be disappointed if you're just taking this, thinking that you're not gonna have a urinary tract infection and, and, and it does happen. And then we come back and we hear about the fact that basically you have a urinary tract infection, but you've been taking this product. And so water has to be included in anything that you're taking during, throughout the day. That's your friend. And that's what's going to really help with urinary tract infections. Thank you very much. And okay. just so that you all will know, uh, the general rule for how much water should you drink, because a woman that weighs 100 pounds doesn't need to be drinking the same thing as a man that weighs 400 pounds. So then what is the solution? You take your body weight divided by two, and that's how many ounces at least you should drink a day. But And try to drink good, clean, alkaline water. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Cheryl, for bringing that up. Thank you. 
All right. Back to you. Back to you, Sharon. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I hate to let you go, but I can't let you hold. So at this time, we're going to do our company model. All right. Uncle Mike, we'll close this out. Okay, thank you very much. And want to thank everyone for coming, especially those of you who are here for the first time. And yeah. a very, very thank you so much to Dr. Camille Simple and to Dr. Cheryl okay. Young. Thank you. We love you. No, I'll be with you in a second. I'm just going to do the company model. Okay. All right, everybody unmute. Everybody unmute. All right, here we go. Company motto. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.